In order to discuss how to develop an offensive strategy, we first have to define a few terms that are commonly used in the Quidditch community. One of the first terms we're going to define is the drive. A drive begins when one team comes to possession of the Quaffle, and it ends when they lose possession. Normally you gain and lose possession either by scoring a goal or by losing the ball to a turnover, either by being beat or having a, an opponent intercept a pass or anything similar to that. Teams normally play back and forth in drives very similar to basketball, where each drive ends either with a score or a turnover. Another thing that's important to understand is that when the drive begins, one or two beaters from each team should have a bludger in hand, or potentially no beaters if there is a lot of chaos in the field. And so a drive begins by attacking either a two bludger or a one bludger defense unless it starts a transition. A two bludger defense poses ser several serious challenges because there are two beaters with bludgers and your own beaters only have one bludger between the two of them. That means that the defending team has bludger control and in order to create an effective offense, the beaters and the chasers have to coordinate effectively. Typically this means that the ball carriers for the chasers have to attack one part of the field and the beaters have to either attack that same part of the field or a different part of the field in order to better create a space in order to use to regain bludger control and crack the defense's shell. Observe this video here. Can you identify which team has bludger control and how many bludgers are on defense to start the drive? Another thing that's very important to understand is that once a team has one bludger on offense, that they're going to need to try and get two bludgers. Once teams have two bludgers on offense, there is a major philosophical question. Some teams will be more conservative and keep their two beaters back and not risk losing the bludgers and keep them for their own defense. Other teams will have one or both beaters move up and attack in order to create what's called a zero bludger drive, or a zero. A zero is a very important thing uh, to develop your offense around because teams historically have a much higher percentage chance to score on zero bludger drives than they do on one or two bludger drives. Up to 90% of drives on zero bludger defenses have a historically a scoring rate, which means that no matter how good the defending chasers are, it's difficult to defend for a long period of time without any support from beaters throwing dodgeballs. Creating a zero, there are several different options. Those will be discussed in future videos. But these central cores of understanding how Quidditch defense and offense works makes the discussion of what your team's philosophy much easier. Because ultimately, a team will only have success if it is philosophically consistent within the players and a vision has been created by the captain and or coach in order to get all everyone playing on the same page.